this week's force.comcast episode, we're going to look at how we can do declarative roll-up summaries using Flow and Process Builder. So Lightning Process Builder is one of the new key core components of the Lightning uh, framework that has been released by Salesforce, and many of you have probably attended uh, Lightning developer events over the past few weeks. So what we're going to do today is create a simple Lightning process. That's going to call a flow. It's going to be an auto-launched flow or a headerless flow. And that will then go away and perform um, some declarative roll-up summaries for us so that we don't have to either write some code or use some trigger code um, or install any other packages. We can just do this using po uh, simple point-and-click tools um, and it will work for us for a very basic use case. So I have, um, from previous videos, got um, an object which is a language and then we have multiple frameworks associated to this language and there's just a lookup relationship from a framework to a language. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a new framework and what we'll see it do is if we give it a name, so let's say we're using the Angular framework um, and we're going to put in a rough number of weekly downloads, so say uh, 30,000. Okay, when we hit save, our flow will fire in the background from our process builder if we go back into the language itself, we'll see that we had a new count set on there, and this is just a number field. We have the total downloads, which is the sum of all of the downloads, and then we've just got a formula field that divides the total by the count. So if we would add a new framework again, and add in this time, uh, I don't know, knockout. Uh, and if we said that had uh, 20,000, if we were to save that and go back up to the JavaScript language, should we click through? Then we'll see again, total has been updated and we now have an average of 25,000. So what we've done is we've replicated the functionality of the count, sum, and through a small formula, the average um, roll-up summaries. So obviously we can't do this using lookup um, relationships normally. Um, so have we done it with flow? So we've got, first of all, a process that I've just called roll-up summaries, and that's on our framework object. It has the framework object there. We're only doing this when a record is created. So this does mean, however, if you were to delete a framework, um, your roll-up summaries wouldn't work. Um, you could do it when a record is created or edited, so that if you change the values, it would update. Um, but this is just a very, very simplistic example here. Um, we're going to have it always run, so I've just called um, our decision here run so there's no criteria we're just going to execute all the time and then we're calling this flow which is called rollup um, and we're passing in a language ID flow variable and we're setting that to be the language of the framework that's come into the context here okay so language ID is the flow variable for our headless flow and if we look at the flow we have a fast lookup that retrieves all of the frameworks with that language ID What that does is it looks up to the framework object and so it's a very, very simple retrieval for us. And we assign that to an S objects collections variable. Um, and I've asked for the downloads to be retrieved. Um, I've also asked for the ID field to be retrieved. Um, we don't have to have that there, um, but just to make it available for us if we did. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the loop logic here. And if we look at how this works, what this is doing is that it's looping through our frameworks collection and it's setting the variable for the current framework to be called current underscore framework. And then we're saying for the next element or for each element, go through and we've got one variable which we've called counter. So it's just a single, oh sorry, count. It's just a simple number variable that I've created in here. It has a default value of zero. And then every time we loop through, we're just going to add one onto it. And similarly, I defined another variable called downloads, which has a default value of zero, and we're just going to add the current framework weekly downloads to it. So what we've done there is we're summing up the downloads, and we're just having a simple incremental counter variable to make sure we close the loop for it to work. And then once the loop is finished, we're going to go in, we're going to update our record. Let's just open this up to see, and we're going to retrieve our language with that same language ID parameter we passed in, and we're going to set those fields before we save. 
and obviously we've just seen it work. So that's a really quick and simple way for us to kind of you know, do a declarative format um, to do that same functionality that we want to provide and that we can't do so because we're not in a master detail relationship. Now what we can also do is if we wanted to also do the min and the max, so we've got the num uh, numerical fields of sum, count and average. If we wanted to find out the minimum value and the maximum value, we'd add a decision step in here. And what we could do is say that if uh, we'd have a simple variable that for if we're doing the maximum example was set as zero or as a, my, uh, as a negative number, um, and then we would just simply check each time, is our current value bigger than that number or not? If it is, we'll do an assignment. Otherwise, we'll continue through the loop. Um, and you just do the reverse for min. So it's a very, very quick and easy way for us to do this um, and really shows off the power of uh, you know, flow. And it's a very nice and declarative format. So it's a great way of using the new process builder. Um, it means that if you ever do want to update these, you can do so really simply. It's all standard functionality. Um, and there's no need to install a new package um, or you know, have to worry about uh, writing triggers and supporting that going forward. So um, it's a quick tip and I hope you like it and enjoy it.